Pisces. Hi there, this is Izzy and this week I'd like to update you on a couple of my seedlings that are getting really rather big. The other nice thing about them is they're both growing a little fern companion, but I'm not entirely sure if I want them to keep their companions. So I think it's worth perhaps getting these out their pots, but taking a little look at them. So why have they got me this week wanting to do a little update on them? Well, here we have the Papiopedalum insignia. This is the first one that I wanted to look at. It's been doing really well in this pot. You can see fantastic long strapping leaves and it does have this fern companion, which is quite cute. Maybe I'll separate that off and put it in a separate pot. But one of the two things, actually, yeah, two things about this that have caught my eye recently. One is that down here, there's actually a new little growth. I don't know if it's possible to see that. Maybe I have to come right in. So that there is a new growth. But what we also have down here is what should have been a wonderful new root. And it's not, it's turned kind of brown, which makes me think maybe this potting mix is souring. Maybe it's no good for this plant anymore. Either way, I'm gonna get it out and have a look. It's a very fine bark mix for seedlings, so it's perfectly possible that it's reached the end of its lifespan. We'll see. Now, we've got a bit of a similar story with the Zygopetalum Trist. This was a seedling, I got it last year, and it has done really well. But these two growths are new, they're really big, they're really nice, it has attempted a few roots before this that didn't do as well as these ones. Now, I don't know what's going on underneath this growth on this side. So basically, I bought it with these growths. It's grown these two new ones since then, but, and it's getting larger, but I don't know that the medium's any good for this one anymore. You'll notice that there's a lot of sphagnum or whatever moss type this is down here and oh if I scrape that away we can see the roots. So I'm quite tempted to get this one up at the same time, take a look, see what's going on and probably remove this companion plant. So I'd better get to it. I've had both of these plants for about a year and a half so it's about time that I repotted them. Oh yes, I'm glad I took the pot off that. This is the Papiopedalum insigne and having just got it out the pot I can see that it's not really got many roots down into the pot. Suggests to me that this potting medium is well past it for this plant and it's not serving this plant very well at all. Papiopedalum insigne should be growing, some, I mean, sometimes it can grow in rocky conditions in its native habitat. So, oh, that root's gone. The rest feel all right, though. So I think perhaps I need to take this one a little bit drier than it has been. So I'll use slightly larger bark mix this time, and I will repot this one into well I was going to go with a slightly larger pot to match those leaf sizes but I'm not entirely sure anymore I'll have a think about that that looks a lot cleaner and I've also picked up a more appropriately sized pot so it came from this size of pot a nice square one but I couldn't see what was going on with the roots which doesn't really give me an indication whether they're growing well or not I'm going to go to this recently vacated little pot, which is a very similar size, but just should accommodate all of those roots. And I think based on how claggy the old medium was, and the fact that this plant was alive, but not thriving in terms of its root system, thriving up the top, yes, but not down below, I'm going to go with small to medium bark chip. Right, time to tackle the Zygopetalum Trist. Now this one is a mm, 
well, a little bit more difficult. I know that zygote petalums in general are a little more difficult because the roots have a habit of breaking. But I'm inexperienced enough that I am just going to have a go and see what happens. Well, oh, this one really likes this medium. If I can just shake off a bit of this old bark chip and remove the companion plant. Well, this plant really likes this medium, but it also split into two plants. I will do my best to repot these together. I'll have to learn that the next time. Uh, but maybe... Oh! Oh, hello! Ah! A new little pseudo bulb appearing down there. I wonder if this one's doing the same. Well, this turned out to be a good time to repot them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that behind here there might be another one on this one too. Well, that's rather good. Okay, so that gives me an idea of the direction of growth that they're both going in. I should be able to repot this together with the other plant into the same pot. That'd be rather good. They're looking very healthy. The root systems are fantastic, although I need to treat them with care. They are zygopetalum. Oh, another growth nestled in here as well. That's useful to know down there. Okay, so these are both zygopetalums, so I do need to be careful with these roots, but they look relatively healthy. There's the odd bit of root that I could take off, but I'm quite tempted to leave them be as much as possible. They appear to regrow from older roots. It, as you can see there, that, that looks like a regrowth and this looks like an older root with regrowth as well. I don't rightly know. Oh yeah, definitely down here as well. So I'm going to put this one back in the type of media that it just came from. Wonderful. So that was not how I was expecting that to go, but it was a pleasant surprise. The Paphiopedalum insignia was not liking that more dense medium, so I've gone for a more chunky bark mix than it had before. And we'll see if it likes these conditions. Because it didn't have the good root system, I've kept it in a similar size pot to before, and it's now a clear pot, so we'll be able to keep an eye on those roots. But the Zygopetalum Trist really surprised me. It had fantastic roots, it really liked this fine medium, which I'll have to learn for my Zygopetalums in the future, or maybe it's because it's a species Zygopetalum, I don't know. But it's really liked it. I've potted it up in the same mix again. You'll see that actually these, these rhizomes are above the mixture, which is something you do with Zygopetalums to prevent rot, or so I've heard. I am not an expert in these. So we'll see if it prefers that, but that's rapidly getting bigger and I'm quite liking how it's turning into a good sized plant. Hopefully at some point it will make the progress from seedling to adult, but we'll see. Perhaps me having knocked off one of these pseudo bulbs is going to set it back for a little while. But anyway, it's been lovely to see you again. And I hope to see you again soon. If you've liked this video, give it a like. If you'd like to hear more, just subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.